Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit of review on this one. Because this is like the high value guy. Maybe review somebody. So we just let's watch the maybe maybe like a few He's seconds. Tall, I like that, dark skin, sure. And Everything I can definitely good. afford you financially, but maybe not emotionally. What? But it's less about being a red flag and more about being a liability. I get it. If I were to bring you into my life, mm -hmm. you would be a liability. No, because I feel you said you're a doctor. Are you going to provide for me? Are you going to take care of me? It depends on what you need done. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> like what? Well, I'm a college student. So that's the, so I mean, there's a whole lot of things that we got to, I mean, decoded on, on, on this one is like, is, I mean, which one is the liability to me? There's like, do you see, I mean, which one is the liability, but we're going to watch the whole video. But before we watch the whole video, look at the, I mean, a guy, I mean, they say, if you go on a date at this, or this gentleman, which outfit would you wear to go on a date? Would you go casual or would you go classic? If you were good on the date, would you go casual? Or would you go classic if you would choose or those three i mean those guys which outfit would you wear to go on the date all right stay tuned we'll be right see in life you can go through life you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results you can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements you can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions the choice is in your hands satisfaction or despair we can choose that you don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. It's very, very simple to get what you want, but it's not easy. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to, ever. No one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's go back to the video. So we're just gonna watch the details. But I mean, on this outfit, if you were going on a date, which one would you choose? Would you go classic or would you go casual? Or this outfit, which one would you choose? All right, so let's finish watching the video. We're gonna give you a little bit of details on the conditions on what's going on. So most likely we're going to watch uh, the doctor. So the high value man doctor, that's what we're going to watch because that's, that's what it is. Let's, let's watch it and we're just going to give you a little bit of details. Let's first like what he says. Get the outfit. Which one would you wear if you were going on a date? That's the first one. That's the second one. That's the second one. That's the third outfit. That's classic. Doctor. Shiloh, welcome. And how old are you, Shiloh? I'm 35. 35. Okay. <laughs> so if, if you look at like the first lady, I mean that was not the first lady, but the thing is, just we're just doing like a perspective on that because she's 35. She has everything that uh, maybe the high qual, I mean high, the high value man may like may look at, but she's 35. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a dental hygienist. Dental hygienist? Yes. Nice. Okay. So looks like you still got a lot of balloons unpopped. I see. Yes. <laughs> but let's go ahead and go to some of the guys who did pop their balloons. Just get a little bit more information, you know, what's going on, why they ended up popping. So let's go ahead and All go. Right, let's go. It is closer and he's very well dressed. Okay. Like that. Yes. <laughs> and Love so, the cute. Oh, oh. Right on. <laughs> so it is what happened because, you know, like, uh, I don't know because that was once the certain age they go most likely for the look i mean just like hey maybe it kind of look like what business casual or maybe classic <laughs> and 
and the beard. Oh. <laughs> so he, he is someone that you would consider yeah. dating. Okay, yeah. all right. My name is Dr. Elam and I am 30. So that, that's, the, that's the doctor right there. So, because that's the high value man. Eight years old. Okay, and Dr. Elam, why did you end up popping your balloon? <sighs> A couple of reasons. Let's First reason is you said you don't like someone with you wanted some of the little dirt under their nails, mm -hmm. and that's not me actually get manicures. Why do I get manicures? Okay. Because I'm a dentist and my hands are actually insured. So, yeah. I mean, to me, <clears throat> I don't think that that's the issue because because she said like she wants somebody with a little bit dirt under the. But hey, if you're the high value man, you got the money to pay to get the work done. I don't think that would be the issue at all. But anyways, because for me, like I don't think that's the issue. I think it is like the age because i mean you 38 she's 35 that's that's where it is it's like i think it's the age and i don't think it's like because like she says like she wants somebody a little bit dirt under their fingers but anyway I may not be able to date you but i would hire you oh uh-oh <laughs> 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 hello <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, fam. I mean, yeah, but I understand, like, maybe you got to practice, but the thing is, if he's on the date, hiring, it, it, that's not what it is for, but anyway, so that's not the uh, issue, but anyway, let's keep watching, man. So, I mean, keep, keep watching that guy, because that's the guy we're going to watch, the high value man. So just throwing, okay, just all right. Throwing high value man. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, as far as you just don't get a little dirt under your nails, but she kind of specified a little bit more. Like she doesn't. Shout out to like a pop a balloon, pop, pop or love. I think it was pop balloon or love, uh, or or show love. I think that's what it is. Shout out to them. Like, to I mean, for, physical for dirt. She just wants someone you know. It gets a little rough outside. Like, well, maybe I can ask her to elaborate. Okay. So if like something wrong with my car, you can take care of it. <laughs> Or go get it taken care of. I won't take care of it, but I will hire someone who can. Can you mow the lawn? Like when I, yeah. Okay. So do you do like I think you mean like a handyman, like around the house, does some things. I don't mean that's why I said like I don't mean like physical dirt. Yeah, that's not me. Okay, okay. that's not good. All right, okay. And then so that's not what we with um Doctor Elam here. Was he someone that you would approach? Yes, he actually looks like um, a guy I dated in high school, and he was like my high school sweetheart. <laughs> but he's very handsome. That's what I thought about. I was like, is that his brother? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'm his doppelganger. <laughs> uh -oh, okay. <laughs> and now, as far as doctor here, <laughs> yeah, is he someone that you would approach? Is he your type in any way? I mean, yeah, he's good looking too. He's tall, I like that, dark skin, sure. And I can good. definitely afford you financially, but maybe not emotionally. Uh. That, to me, that's a trick mentality, though. It's just like, yo, which one you can't afford? What does that mean? You just met her, so you don't even know anything about her. You don't even know if she's qualified to be girlfriend, but she could be maybe like, yo, I mean, they're hooking up. I mean, the thing, because I, I don't know what's the procedure of the, of the show, probably because since this is the show, you know, they probably try to show up. But the thing is, as far as the high value, man, there's a lot of process like somebody has to go through before they can even come to your circle. So it was just like how you could take care of financially, but you can't take care of like, uh, I mean, you could take care of like financially, not emotionally. What does that mean? Anyways. Okay. I, mean, I could give you more details, but no, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you so to me, that's, that's the trick mentality though. That's to me. You can't handle me is what you're saying, but it's okay. That's fine. I can handle I can. you. I just have to make the decision if it's worth my time to do that. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's fine. It is what it is. Yeah, that's a I'm a man, open either. arms, like seriously, no shit. Okay. All right. Like it's all love, <laughs> just being honest with what I've been through and what it seems like you need to experience as well. Okay. I do real estate and I'm a property manager. Property management, mm -hmm. okay. All right, and now um, what do you look for in a guy? I just, I don't, I don't know.
Maybe he's the thing, though, because, like, if you, like, a 22 real estate property, I mean, you got real estate. I 22, most most 22 year old do I have real estate. I don't know. To me, I think she's on the right track so far. They all look good. <laughs> yeah, it's, she's still a young kid. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so what about height? Hold on, I just don't understand now. So when it comes to relationship, you don't know. But when it comes to business, like you get the mind straight. So I mean, if you're 22, you got two properties already, Airbnb. Sometimes and something is is working right, unless maybe parents left that for you. Maybe you got some inherited money. That could be. What? Oh, you gotta be taller than me with heels on. Okay. So, cause I'm five eight. Okay. So, and yeah. with heels, you're probably like five ten. Five nine, five, five ten. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. And so, what do you like to do for fun? Mm, so I model on the side too. Okay. Um, I also got two properties out here that I use for Airbnb. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I do a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, and then I, I got two dogs. So if you're not a dog lover, just go ahead and pop it now. Sure. My name is Dr. Elam. I'm 38 years old. Okay. And I pop my balloon just because you're simply too young. And age isn't really a factor, but you don't know what you want. How old are you again? 38. You're 38? Oh. Yeah. Red flag. So he's... It's you, less you about, are very handsome. I wouldn't even thought you were 38. Of course but, not. But it's but. less about being a red flag and more about being a liability. I mean, okay, just like when you say liability, because it's the age because she's 22. I understand she's young. When you say liability, because she got two properties, she's in real estate. Most likely, if she got two properties, if she worked for the properties, to me, that's the right track. Unless, I mean, well, depending on what you're looking for, though. I'll make a prediction depending on what you're looking for. But I mean, if she's got two properties here in real estate, she's a liability. So what would be the other one be then? If I were to bring you into my life, mm -hmm. you would be a liability. Right. Do you got kids though? No. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask another question now. Um, I mean, you said you're a doctor, right? That's correct. Okay. I mean, I don't even know what to ask you because you don't like me. I'm too young. It's not, it's... It... I mean, if you change your mind, I'm open to it, though. Why would you be open to it? Because you're handsome, for sure. one. So you only like and... me because I'm beautiful. Come on, Kai. Stop be petty, man. <laughs> Come on, man. So, yo, I'm in. It's like, I'm beautiful. Is your choice, yeah, but that's though. not you why just... I would only like you. So why would you like me? Because you didn't answer that. Because you can bring something and add something to my mm -hmm. life. But because you're a liability. Okay. She's 22. She got two properties. As far as real estate, because, you know, everybody knows, like, real estate. Like, that's where a lot of people make a lot of money in real estate, if you know exactly what you're doing. But she's, she's starting on the right track. She got two properties, and she got some other things she's working toward. To me, I think that, because I mean, if you don't find it sexually attractive to her, that would be another thing. But the thing is, as far as liability, but I don't see the liability on her. Yeah, she may not be able to speak the same language you speak since you're a doctor. Like, I mean, that's different. But at least she's done like business ramifications. Okay, so let's go. You can't right. add anything to my life. Right. You would be a liability to everything in so my life. So what can I not add to your life? What, what is that? You can't teach me anything. Mm -hmm. You can't. Sorry, what do you mean? She's not supposed to teach you anything now because all you, you just got to have your program and she can follow your program. That's all you need to know. Who cares what, what she does? Can, can she follow your program? Can she follow your, your instructions? Can she follow your procedures? That's all you need. But the thing is, I don't know when you say like she can't teach you anything. She's not supposed to teach you anything. What is, what is she supposed to teach you? Man? Come on, boss. Me with my finances in any way, you can't add any intellectual I mean, she could help with the finance because you know, she she got properties. That's part of the finance. Because I mean, she got two properties. I mean, to get two properties, most likely your credit must be good. At least what six something, so maybe seven twenty. And she got money to put uh, down payments. She's on the right track, to me. But maybe that's Anything not what you're into for. my life. And it's not because you're not capable. It's just because you're not I'm there too yet. Young. You're not there yet. Right. So yeah, watch this one real close because. He said, like, she's not there yet. She's 22. 
two properties and and let's see who she gonna he gonna choose for the date. That's where the that's where the conflict uh, the, the confusion is. So if you say she's not qualified, but the one you choose for the date is worse than her, now nah, that's where the confusion is. And if you're not already on that path, I'm already on it. That's the problem. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, she's already on it because she got two properties. I don't know enough about me. I am, you're absolutely right. I don't so know enough about up. you. You said you've had you have Airbnb properties. Good luck with the other girls back there. You're messing up. Oh, next. Oh. That's called attitude. Wait a minute. I can tell that you're triggered, and that's okay. I'm not triggered, sweetheart. You we are. Can, you are we, very we, handsome. We can but, work. We can work through but, this. Dude, don't, don't need no explanations. Dude, you have all your men just like yo. She's not qualified. Keep it moving. But since it's the show, I mean, the thing you got to go through some other steps. You know, maybe to make it dramatics. That could be the issue, but the thing is, look, she's not qualified. Just keep on moving. Together, you please said put I can't bring down. you anything, so it's like, what was? We, right. There's no need to talk. You can't I bring anything right now. You're left with the other girl. Say okay, and this is why your immaturity <laughs> will prevent you from being with a real man. No, I've dealt with real because you're not <laughs> listening to me. You're trying to talk over. Go ahead, me. I'm listening me get to where i want to get mm -hmm. you have two airbnb properties mm -hmm. how can we get to four how can we get to eight? i already know how to do that my dad that's how i got it next contestant please please okay mm. I, I was gonna pick you <laughs> this is anthony and then if we could have your name hi my name is dr elam i am 38 years old who <laughs> 38 yeah I would like to say no, because I feel, you said you're a doctor. I'm going to provide for me. You're going to take care of me. You know, Airbnb, you know, who knows? Right, let's, let's keep watching it. It depends on what you need done. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would tell you she's a liability. She tell you like, she's, she's going to need a lot. Come on, man. Come on, fair man. Come on. But hey, it is what it is, man. A lot. <laughs> like what? Well, I'm a college student, mm -hmm. so I'm just starting to get my life together. Okay. She's 21, college student. She hasn't had life together yet. So are you going to take the process with me to finish to get my career and all that stuff? Say or that again. Are you going to, like, help me get through my career and stuff like that? What, is, what do you mean? Like, I the career to, that I want. How am I going to help you get the career that you Financially want? Financially um, support me. You want me to pay for you to get a no, career no. that you want? No, pay for it. But like, be there for me, you know, because some people will not wait. When she said, uh, be there for that was AKA, spend the money. That's what it mean. Well, that's what it mean. It means like, yo, you got to support her financially. So the other, I mean, the, 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 the other girl, you could uh, support her financially, not uh, emotionally. But the other girl that you claim that's to be a liability, that 22, 22 year old girl, you see, like she's a liability. She, she's in real estate. She got some other. She got two other property. At least she got some value on that one. But this one, she's in college. She's twenty-one. Nothing. But all she has is like, yo, are you still gonna support it? But she was gonna pop your balloon because she figured out if you're a doctor, that's been that's the reason why she's actually right now she's vetting you to see if you qualify. To be a, maybe a sugar daddy or something. I don't know. For you to get where you want to go in life, okay. career wise. Okay. So, are you willing to do that? Am I willing? Can to you wait. be more specific with your question? <laughs> sure. Sorry. So, if we, the other one, I mean, okay. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Right now, I'm a student. Saying. I don't sure. have the high paying job yet. Sure, sure. Are you going to wait for me to get my high paying job? Yeah, I don't need you to provide for me. Okay. I'm fine with you being in school and getting your career and doing what you do. Okay. So most likely is that you like to take care of girls and you got to take care of women. I mean, if you do, if that's what you do, that's what you do. But, but as far as like intellectual, it's like claim to be high value man. But the thing is clearly that's Thank you. 38. Sure. So now is her age a problem for you? Originally it was, but after listening to you speak and seeing your temperament, you giving more of like a 28 year old vibe. But she's still 21 though. <laughs> and you say you don't work out, but I cannot tell. 
<laughs> well, it's the African dream. I, I, I know. And <laughs> I almost popped my balloon because you said you wanted someone African, but I'm half Ghanaian. I'm Ghanaian too. Stop. What, what's your middle name? Ah. Dufie. My, and my last name is Amuako. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Wow. Oh, it's okay. going to be a hard one. <laughs> what you going to do, girl? What you going to do? <laughs> you going to let me walk out of your life right now? You going to oh. let age be a factor? This man's this man is old enough to be your father. He's uh, old. Oh, man. I thought you made this bad game now. Bro, oh, I thought you met his bag in <laughs> Old enough to be your father. <laughs> oh, no. That's old game. He's been doing he been doing that before you was born. You need a damn man like me. We know the same artists. <laughs> but then you understand on my culture though, right? Ghanaian. I, I get you. I, I know exactly what you need. Oh I know. It's, a it's, tricky. A tough it's, it's tough. It's a tough way. It's a tough way. Do you want to, do you have a question to narrow it down between the two of them? How are you going to introduce me to your family member? Or family? In Very general? slowly. But my, you don't matter. But you don't even know if she's qualified to be your girlfriend though. I mean, there's a vetting process that's going through. I don't know, maybe like, uh, because I mean, the thing is, before somebody become your girlfriend, there's some vetting process you got to go through. Shout out to Mr. Locario. If you want to know what the vetting process is, check out Mr. Locario. So he's going to explain to you what is the vetting process. But the thing is, she's talking about introduce you to her parent, to your parents. But you don't even know if she's qualified to be a girlfriend, though. Can she follow directions? Can she follow rules? Can she commit it? Can she, is she corroborate? So you don't even know none of that stuff, but now you talk about introduce to parents. That's early, but, but hey, it is what it is, man. But my age, it doesn't matter, my age? No, I, I do what I want in my life. Okay. Okay. Who? Should we ask him to say how he would How old are you? I didn't even, I don't I'm know. I'm 28. 28. Yeah. 38. 10 years apart. That's 10 years. Ooh. How old is your father? <laughs> oh. Very old. <laughs> okay, how about this? Let me let me ask them a question for you. Yeah, do it. <laughs> okay. And it's one that we had asked earlier. So where would you take her on a first date? Uh first okay. date, I like to take people a lot of places. I'm I'm an adventurous. I like to show my woman the world. I think first off we start off getting a couple of drinks. Take the next little speakeasy, get her mind flowing, see what's going on. Okay. And then from there, we can go dancing. I know a couple places downtown. Okay. You know? Okay. You like to dance? I like to dance. I like to dance. On the first day? You ain't that. Jeez. <laughs> on the first day, bitch, you got to go through all that on the first day? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know? And then from there, see where the night goes. Okay. okay. Huh, this is tough. <laughs> <laughs> right on over here. <laughs> so, for work, I travel. So I'm based here in Phoenix and in Los Angeles. And for our first date, I'd fly you out to LA. Ah, uh, come on. I guess if you got it. It's make no difference again. <laughs> but the thing is, is she qualified to fly that out? Is she qualified to be flown out, man? It's, I mean, it's, it's, oh, come on. Okay. And I take you to one of my favorite beach spots and we'd have a picnic on the beach and then. On a fast date? And we ah. go to my friend's speakeasy okay. and we'd have a couple of drinks. And even though you are a little bit younger, it's okay because I know the guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You got to make your decision based off of that. Flown out though for the first date. That is absurd. Who's balloon? <laughs> are you feeling like popping? Come on. Okay. Yeah. I think I could bypass his age because oh. he has <laughs> money talk, man. Baby, this is wrong. Baby. Okay, this is wrong. This Baby. is right. <laughs> it can't get you no right. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
like, oh, oh yeah. you have a funny. lobster ring to me? Okay. Maybe he can too, you never know. But I think I'm going to go with him. Because so you're going to pop yeah. his balloon? Oh. I'm sorry, oh, yeah. I fought for you a little bit. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, so I know you said you ended up picking him just to make sure it's a yes for you. Yes, it is. Okay, and sir, is it a yes for you for her? Yes. Ah! All right, thank you both for coming back. on. You guys go ahead. You can go ahead and go with him. <laughs> All right, so the thing is that if you look at the video and conclusion is, so you, this, I mean, that high value guy is like, yo, know, maybe he is confused what his like uh, liability is. Because I understand like, so the first girl that the girl that you're looking right now, because uh, she's, I mean, he could say, he said like you could provide for her, but not uh, emotionally. That's one. Second one is that the, the, the girl with the with the real estate. She got two property, yeah, even though she don't even know what she want. But as far as the liability, she's not she's not a liability so far because the thing is, at twenty two, she got two property in case. I mean, even though her parent, uh, maybe her parents is like helping her out or whatever it is, but at least she's on the right track if she keep removing in the real estate sections. Okay. She could keep it moving in the real estate sections. But as far as liability, I don't think she's the liability. I think uh, uh, the liability has come like, so when you look at the last girl, which is, uh, so if you look at the last girl. Yeah, because as far as the liability, because the thing is like, okay, a girl, she got two properties. And the one he chose to go on a date with, she's in college. She has nothing. And she expects you to pay for everything. I think I think it's a confusion. Maybe I, it is what it is. But anyway, what do you think? I mean, as far as like uh, the outfit, like if you go on a date, would you choose one of the outfit that they have? Would you choose one? Would you do go casual or would you go classic on the like, as far as the the outfit? Uh, the thing is like, what do you think? Like if that was you, that was on his positions, would you choose that girl that like uh, the the twenty one year old college girl? Or would you go with the girl with the, with the real estate? Which one would you choose if you would go with either? I mean, if you would choose. All right, that's what I have for today. All right, thank you for the time. And see you next time. Hey, self, adjust my frequency to ignite my energy as you. Your wish is my command. <laughs>